Hey, welcome to part 10 of my procedural node series in Blender. Today we're going to take a look at creating this procedural night sky shader, complete with some kind of, I don't know, Milky Way or Nebula looking thing. Uh, yeah, so let's get started, see how that's done. To start off, I'm going to size my object on the Z axis by a factor of 0.1. And uh, this just divides that Z dimension by 10. I'm going to go ahead and hit Control A and apply the scale. Then come over here to the Modifiers panel and add a bevel modifier. I'm going to bump these segments up to 5 and enable smooth shading. And then I'm going to drag my screen across here and open up the shader editor on the left and go into rendered mode and just view this item from the top. The first thing I'm going to add in is these stars. And the way I do that is I bring in a Voronoi texture. I'm just going to change this to uh, Minkowski. And if we look at this, it kind of gives us these star shapes already. I'm going to bring in a color ramp as well and just put it right next to here and put this black value at 0.18 and this white value just below it at 0.13. I'm going to raise this scale up quite high. I'm going to put it at 160 and I'm going to click on this Voronoi and hit Control T and that brings up this texture coordinate and mapping nodes. I'm just going to plug the object output into that vector input there and it just gives us a smaller pattern uh, to work with here. So the next thing I did is I just wanted to make these glow a little bit. So I actually brought in a mix shader and I fed this into the factor right here. And uh, let's just unplug that there. And so let's think about this for a second. We want those white areas to glow. So why don't we plug in a mission shader into this bottom socket and see what happens. Go ahead and drag that in there and click on this guy. And let's bump this up to like 10. And now we see uh, it's glowing a little bit. Next, let's tackle that nebula looking thing there. Um, I'm just going to bring in a noise texture and distort it by another noise texture along the vector line. And if you've been watching my videos, you might already know what I'm going to do here. I'm going to take a look at this noise texture here. And uh, let's go ahead and set this top value to 0.8 and the detail to 16, just like that. And let's bring in a color ramp so we can see what's going on a bit better. And just put it right here. And uh, I'm going to set this bottom value at 0.35. And this top value is going to be at uh, 0.42, just like that. Then I'm going to hit Control T on this noise texture, make sure it's coming out of the object. And I'm going to bring in another noise texture and place it on this vector line here. I'm going to add in a mix RGB and place it right here and plug this object into color 2. And now we have a controller for how much mix it has. So I'm going to set this scale to 10 and then detail I'm going to leave it 16 and everything else I'm going to leave the same as well. And then this slider here, let's bring this to 0.85, just like that. So the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the color for our nebula. I'm going to bring in another color ramp here, and we're going to uh, set up eight points on this uh, color ramp eventually here. So there's one at zero and one, so I'll just leave those as is for now. And this next point, I'm going to set this at 0.29. I'm going to bring in another one and put this at 0.49 bring in another one and put this at 0.59 bring in another one and put this at 0.7 and one more uh, at 0.83 actually one more after that this last one is going to be at 0.94 just like that so just to make sure yeah that's eight spots there looks good so next let's choose the color for these eight spots this bottom one I set this as kind of a uh, grayish bluish color but just barely maybe something like this this is going to be our center of our nebula there and this next one I set this at kind of a, a pink color I'm zoomed in too close there just kind of like a maybe something like this maybe a little bit less saturation that looks pretty cool then this next one here uh, I set this in a dark pink color so let's just choose the same color and just darken it a bit this next one I set it a violet color so maybe something like this looks pretty neat. I like the look of that. This next one, I set this at a turquoise color. So let's set that up. Maybe something like that looks pretty cool. Then this is a slightly darker version of that turquoise. And then this one I set as an even darker version of that turquoise. Just like that. And then this last one, I set this to black just like that. So next up what I'd like to do is break up this pattern a little bit. It looks a little bit too uniform and there's a number of different ways that we could do this but uh, I'm gonna bring in a Voronoi here 
and change this type to distance to edge just like this. Let's get a look at what it's doing here uh, and I'm gonna bump up this value to 14 and then hit control T and we're gonna bring in a noise texture for along this uh, vector line here. I'm gonna duplicate this one here, duplicate this mix node and just plug the object into both of these spots, into the noise texture and into color 2 of the mix. And then we're going to set this uh, value here to 250 and leave this at 16. And then we're going to come over here to the factor and put it at 7, uh, 0.725. So then I want to bring in a color ramp here as well just to tighten this up a little bit. We're going to leave black at the bottom, but we're going to bring white in quite a bit. We're going to put it at 0.12, just like that. And then we're going to mix these two color ramps together and change this from mix to multiply and then change the factor to one and now we can see we've got some distortion in our nebula so we're almost done here one of the last steps I did I'm just gonna get rid of this principled shader and bring in an add shader here I'm gonna go ahead and mix this one here and uh, let's go ahead and make another emission shader as well I'm just gonna make one from scratch so that it doesn't have that color there and I'm gonna drop this right here we're going to bump this down to 0.1. It's a lot lower there. And we're going to plug this into the top there and then just view this. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So let's just show you a quick application of how you might use this. Uh, this is one thing I did already that I was quite happy with. I'm just going to hide this right now and bring in, I could use a UV sphere or an ecosphere, it doesn't really matter. Let's use the uh, UV sphere. I'm going to size this up by 10. And let's go ahead and to apply our material to this guy right here. And uh, just let it load in there. There we go. So now we have this sky map. We're just inside this sphere. And uh, we have all these stars and these nebulas. So that's it. Hope you're able to follow along and you can see what I was doing and how you might change this around. Thanks for watching.